My fellow gamers and geeks, how the heck are you? Happy Xbox One Day. Here it is, Xbox One Day One Edition with two games, Forza 5 Motorsports, very reflective, as well as Dead Rising 3, both Day One Editions. Now, this is very interesting. I knew the Day One Edition had a little ribbon up top, but check this out. It actually has a foil box art. That is very neat. All right, guys, let's just unbox the Xbox One because I have been dying to get this thing since June. I mean, this is the console I've been waiting for. I mean, I'm just so happy I could dance. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna dance. Cue the music. Got that out of my system, let's unbox the Xbox One. Here we go, baby. Let's do this. By the way, I just gotta say, I like this box design so much more than just the regular Xbox One box. In my opinion, it just looks so much better. It's much more sleek. All right, let's put the games aside and open up the Xbox One. All right, put it down here. It is a very heavy box, by the way. Means it's no secret, the Xbox One is pretty large, which is fine. I have plenty of room on my entertainment center. By the way, Jasmine's visiting. Can you see her? I'm kind of watching her for the weekend until we hear a noise in the background. That's why. Okay, first up in the box. Yes, this thing is huge, isn't it? The box is just massive. First up in the box is the brand new Kinect. Oh my god. Damn, it's actually kind of heavy. Look at this. Holding it upside down. Very nice. New Xbox One Connect, which is apparently a huge improvement over the Xbox 360's Connect. Let's take the plastic off. Guys, I cannot wait to say Xbox On. Oh, this thing is sexy. It's heavy too. Look at it. Very, very solid build quality. Microsoft props. This thing feels solid as hell. So let's put that aside. And up next is a box within a box. You do get a free headset, which is awesome. And it already looks much better than Sony's, but hey, at least, at least Sony included a PS4 headset, which actually works pretty well, according to my viewers, over at twitch.tv slash Gaming. All right, take it out very carefully. Come on. I don't want my excitement to get in the way of, uh, you know, keeping things safe. All right, so here's here's the headset. Gotta say, it looks pretty sleek for what it is. By what it is, I mean it's obviously very cheaply built. There you go. It's obviously not fitted right yet, but I'll do that later. And on the bottom, if you heard that noise in the background, that's Maui. He's laying on top of a huge box, which is another product I'm really, really excited to unbox for you guys. I'll give you a quick preview at the end of this video. So here's the little doohickey that goes in the bottom of the Xbox One controller, which I cannot wait to hold. Uh, you have your mute button and volume up, volume down, boom. Very nice. Self-explanatory, but always good stuff. Lots of documentation, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, you get an Xbox sticker. Pretty sweet. I did not know that. That will definitely be going somewhere. Somewhere that I can see it often because I, I just love the Xbox brand. Lots of documentation, like I said. Nice black manual. What is this? I thought I saw a code. Oh yeah, that's a, a QR code. As well as a actual re redeemable? Oh, two. Two redeemable. Oh, for, for Xbox Live Gold. And the other one is an exclusive day one achievement. That's pretty sweet. I'll definitely be putting that into my system. All right, here's the Xbox One controller. I'm, I'm just going to save that for myself. There's a dog outside. He's fine. I always see him there. The owner should be right behind him. All right, you do get a power cord, obviously. There you go. Standard power cord, always good. And it would not be an Xbox console, guys, let's be honest, 
It would not be an Xbox console without a huge power brick. Like I gotta say, this isn't that big. It actually looks a little smaller than the old power brick. Yeah. It's big, but not too big. There's a size reference to my, my, yeah, my scale, my head. Very nice. Honestly, I don't see why people make such a big deal about the power brick. It goes behind your entertainment center. I never understood that complaint. That's just me though. But uh, uh, anyway, you get an HDMI cable included, as you should, because like the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One only supports a digital output, meaning HDMI. And right there, it seems to be pretty long. Really, Maui, you want to go outside? All right, one second. All right, now he's outside. What the? Getting stuff stuck in my feet. All right, the accessories are done besides the controller. Like I said, I'll try that out in a second. Actually, no, you know what? Let's just get this done. As you know, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of the Xbox 360's controller. So I'm looking very forward to seeing how this thing feels in my hand because unfortunately I haven't had the opportunity of holding it at Target or Walmart or anything. And believe me, I checked everywhere. The kiosks are still not up. And again, I gotta give huge, huge props to Sony for making the DualShock 4 a kick-ass controller. That is easily their best controller yet. So it'll be interesting to compare this to that. And here we go. Wait, hold on. You get some batteries. All right. Oh my God. And it says day one on it. Wow. The sticks are significantly smaller but your thumbs rest pretty well. Interesting. The triggers feel very different. They don't have as, as, as much pull as the Xbox, as the Xbox, as the, actually the Xbox 360's controller, as well as the DualShock 4. I gotta say, I'm gonna have to get used to the sticks. Like I said, they're much, much smaller, but it's not a bad thing. It's just different. Of course, right there, this is day one, 2013, amazing. Interesting how it says 2013. I wonder if they're going to have future editions like day one, the Xbox One Slim or whatever it's going to be called. Or maybe they're just putting 2013 just to look back on. Uh, you have your menu button and options or uh, screen button. I forget what they're calling it. You have your sync button. You have a play you have PlayStation. I'm so sorry. You have an Xbox button in the middle to activate your home screen. This is definitely different enough where you would notice a difference in your, you know, how, how you're holding it. It definitely feels smaller. Yeah, the bumpers are definitely more pushed inward and you have to kind of move your fingers more. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Let me see, let's pretend I'm playing Battlefield or something. Third grenade, yeah, that's really not a big deal at all. The, the, um, the triggers, again, feel very interesting. Of course, you have your regular face buttons, uh, X, Y, A, and B as well as a D-pad, which is completely reimagined from the previous Xbox 360's controller, as well as the original Xbox controllers, um, the controller S, or as the Duke people called it, the other one before the controller S was released in Japan, then brought over to America. A little fun fact for you guys, because since Japanese have smaller hands than Americans. Anyway, um, the battery pack is now more recessed, so in theory, and I'm proving it right now, it is not getting your way of your fingers as much as they did on the 360's controller. And something I'm very, very, very excited about this with um, the Xbox One controller over the DualShock 4 is Microsoft was actually a little innovative in their controller design and apparently there's extra motors for vibration feedback in the triggers themselves. So right here there should be little tiny motors. So I've heard in Forza 5 and Polygon stream um, the other night that they were saying you could really feel traction on your car when you're taking a turn and you kind of know when to back down not by just looking at the game, obviously, but you actually feel it as if you're driving a real car. So I gotta give Microsoft props for that. I cannot wait to see how that feels. Um, so just awesome, 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 awesome. All right, on to clip two of my Canon T4i, because as you know, this thing only has like an 11 minute or 12 minute limit. And you know me, I love to talk, especially when it comes to my Xbox. I just love the Xbox brand, and I cannot wait to see Xbox, see Xbox, say Xbox on. Here we go, guys. The star of the show. Really? I wish they would take a page from Apple's book and put like an easy pull out thing. Because I don't want to bend the box too much. And there you go, I got it. 
Huh. I gotta say, it's not as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. Not that it matters, because it sits on your console. Console. Well, I guess you call it console, maybe. Your entertainment system. Ooh, I'm so happy. It's the bottom. Look at that ass. Ooh, sexy. Actually, the S would be back here. All right, this is it. Wow, okay, yeah. So I've seen this in person at Target, but apparently it was a plastic box. But still, I mean, I got to touch it and bundle it and nerdgasm all over it. And something I've noticed is it's definitely not as thick as you'd think it would be because, I mean, obviously it's, it's pretty wide, but not that wide. Let me put my Apple keyboard on top. Yeah, it stops at the keyboard and you have about this much space. So if you want a size reference, get out your Apple Bluetooth wireless keyboard. That's kind of redundant, Bluetooth wireless. Uh, then just add this much on and that's how wide the Xbox One will be in your entertainment center. So this is pretty cool looking. Um, I gotta say, I am a huge fan of how the PlayStation 4 looks. I wasn't a huge fan at first, but now I really, really like it. The, whole par the whole parallelogram, like slanted design. It looks hot in my entertainment center. Seriously, it looks awesome. And I gotta say, this doesn't look bad. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look amazing. It's nothing you say, oh my God, look at that. It's a rectangle. And you know what? I give Microsoft props for going with a simplistic design because like this, the Kinect, that's the brick. Well, that's also a rectangle. The Kinect is also very simple. I'm surprised about how heavy this is. It's actually pretty heavy. Look, it's got a mount. That's very interesting. So I guess you could screw this in places. Uh, but what I'm getting at here is Microsoft went with um, a uniform design, meaning they went with rectangles for everything, and I think that's smart. I like when things look nice next to each other, and I gotta say, that looks pretty hot. Alright, so putting the Kinect back over there, and yes, I promise I will be doing future Xbox One related videos. This is purely just to watch me nerdgasm and stuff like that. So, let's get up close and personal, shall we? Up front is an optical drive, Blu-ray drive now, with a sticker. Let's take that off. I'm sorry, Xbox One. You don't need to have a sticker. By the way, the sticker says, do not move console without first removing any disc inside. I gotta be honest, I've done that before in my 360 by accident, but I've never had a problem. Not that, I'm, not that I encourage that kind of behavior. Anyway, this is the Xbox One Blu-ray drive, which is nice. By the way, uh, this is my brand new primary Blu-ray player which is nice, a big ass vent up top, which is always good to put all the heat out. USB 3 port on the side, and that's a little clip for, that's to eject. I think this is to take out your hard drive, and apparently it's pretty easy to replace, and on, and on the other side is really nothing. On the back, lots of ports. We have power, HDMI out, um, optical in for your audio, uh, HDMI in, or optical out rather, because you're outputting to your receiver. Right? I always mix that up. HDMI in in case you have a cable box, which I don't, but I will be experimenting with this with my PS4, my camcorder, and, any, and basically anything else that, that works with HDMI, just to see if it works on here. Uh, so I can say Xbox Snap TV, and well, the Xbox One will think it's TV, but it's really not. Um, two USB 3.0 ports on the back, an Ethernet jack, IR out, uh, another, I'm sorry, did I say Ethernet jack? That's the Kinect port. Hence the Connect logo up top. I know you can't see, but I'm not going to refocus my Canon. And then finally, like I said, on the far right, you do get an Ethernet port. Here, my chair. It's so noisy. And over here, a Kensington lock. So that's important. And there is a Microsoft seal there, so I guess that's proof to see if you open up the console. And there it is, the Xbox One again. Really not that heavy. Thinner than you would think it would be. And I really cannot wait to see how it performs. So, quick recap. Console. Power brick, heavier than expected connect, but extremely solid. I actually really, really like how it feels, and I cannot wait to say Xbox One. By the way, follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash David Franco, uh, because I'm going to put a video up there saying Xbox One. Xbox One controller, um, as well as batteries, they're around here somewhere. Oh, here we go, right here. Two double A's, by the way. And finally, last but certainly not least, because it does come down to the games, Forza Motorsport 5, my first Forza game ever, and Dead Rising 3, my first Dead Rising game ever. So there you go, my Xbox One unboxing. Now I have to go through the torture of editing this video and getting up on YouTube before actually hooking this up. But that's what I like to call a dedication. However, before I go, 
I want to show you something very awesome I got in for review, and it's this. Hold on. It's kind of small. All right, I'm obviously kidding. It's huge. This is the Logitech Z906 speaker system. Let me spin it around for you guys to give a better view. 5.1, guys. 5.1 speakers for my Mac Pro. I've had the same Logitech 2.1 speakers since I had my PC. I think like 03 or 04, eventually when I sold my gaming rig and got my first Mac, the PowerBook G4. So in other words, yes, I, I've been using these speakers for a very long time and I think I'm coming up on 10 years. That's a long time, guys. So huge thanks to Logitech for sending this out my way for review. I cannot wait to hook these up. 5.1 in my office, I just can't imagine the awesomeness. I mean, seriously, between this and the Xbox One, Two games, my Nerd Block and my Loot Crate, all waiting to be unboxed over there. This is just why I love life. I mean, it's your support, all these awesome products I get to cover for you guys. I am just extremely grateful. And of course, Feature Points, I mean, I basically got my Xbox One for free uh, because of Feature Points. So if you want to check out Feature Points, you can do so by using the link right below and signing up with my promo code DeFranco, D-I-F-R-A-N-C-O, and you can start earning points right away towards things like Amazon gift cards, PayPal cash, and paid apps for completely free. So guys, I'm finally done. This is probably the longest Xbox One unboxing on YouTube, but you know what? I don't care, because I love my Xbox brand, and this is the console I have been waiting for. And don't worry, I'm not gonna instantly forget about my PlayStation 4, because I'm loving the crap out of the console. Seriously, Sony did such a kick-ass job. All right, I'm talking fast. I need a drink. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy your Xbox One for those who got them, you know, yours already. And I will see you in my weekend vlog. Peace.